Hi guys! I'm Melissa with Sentimental Salvage and Design and today we are going to be doing a reverse decoupage on a glass frame. And I've cleaned it and what I want to do is I'm going to use this Recycled Treasures uh, Cowgirl Blocks. It's a piece that I have left out of that one and I kind of want to use kind of a bit of it but nothing doesn't have to be centered you're just kind of making it work because I'm going to be adding something to the front of the glass too so okay so let's get going on that and I'll show you how to get this done so I am using um, DIY's clear patina as a decoupage medium on this glass and I usually have it in a little squirt bottle but I brought my squirt bottle home and I forgot it there. So any kind of a um, soft bristle brush will work really really well. These are just from Michaels I think. Yes, Art Mines. So these are from Michaels and they work really well when you're using a liquid decoupage medium or any kind of a top coat. They work really well. So I am just going to brush this on the glass. And it looks milky, but it dries crystal clear. So you don't have any worries about it adding color. Okay, so now I am going to place this here and we are going to attempt to put this baby down where I want it. There is another way you can do that and I'll show you on another video. I just want to get that on there. And I'm just going to give this a little mist with water because when you're decoupaging on the ink side, it's a whole different thing. It takes a little bit more for the the decoupage medium to get through that ink to get to the paper so that it adheres properly. Give it a little bit more of a mist of water. Okay, now we're going to brush this top coat or the clear patina on the back just to kind of sandwich that in there. Okay. Okay, I'm just going to take my sanding block and I'm going to gently sand down on those edges to cut my paper exactly where it needs to be. There we go. 
Now that is all attached on there. But now what we have to do, I'm going to dry this a little bit more. And then we need to paint this white on the back. As I was drying, I was thinking that I don't have to paint this white because there's this sheet that will go right behind here and that gives you that same effect. See how much brighter that is? There you can kind of see the halfway. See how much brighter that white behind? That's exactly why you paint white underneath your decoupage paper all the time because it just brings out the image so much brighter. So with that in behind this frame, I don't have to paint it. I'm just going to go with it exactly the way it is. I kind of like that. I'm not going to lie. I've never done reverse decoupage before. So I probably did something wonky that doesn't make any sense. And I'll figure that out after when I realize why did I do it that way? So now what I'm going to do is I wanted to add some of the ephemeral melange flowers on the top and that's from the new transfer, this one, this one, yes, okay. I'm just going to cut this out. You have to be really careful when planning out a transfer on glass because once they stick, once you place it down on that glass, it is there. Okay, I don't want these words, so I'm just going to cut them out. There's enough topography on here that I don't need any added from this transfer. I'm going to cut them all off. And just keep these little flowers. Perfect. And I don't have a stick here either. It's always the hardest part, just deciding. I just have to commit. I don't have a stick here. Luckily on glass, it sticks really easy. Perfect. Bit 
Sakura. That looks pretty. Let's find another little floral to add, maybe down here. We'll go with this one. I'm just scoring it a little bit so I kind of know where to cut it. It's going to give me that. Perfect. Cut off this text. Peel that transfer backing paper off slowly, just in case. There is any that hasn't adhered, so then you can just easily go back and pop that back down. I think that looks really pretty. It gives her some Gives her some color. I'm just gonna go with my sanding block here. Same trick works for that transfer. What do you think? What color should we paint this frame? Maybe this enchanted echinacea. And then with a little bit of the rose or the yellow gold. Let's go with that. This is a discontinued color, unfortunately, but I'm not sure if I have any of them left. I might. These pieces of transfer on my finger are kind of... Let's grab a brush. Is this going to fit in there? Sure. Okay, let's get this lined up on here. I 
Ooh, look how pretty that looks. Just want to make sure that that line is fairly straight. There we go. Now I just want to add a little bit to bling and I think I'm going to use the rose gold. This is Fusion's rose gold metallic. And these little sample pots of these metallics come in super handy. And I just use my finger. I'm just going to rub a little. On these decorative points. Perfect. That just gives it a little bit of a highlight. And I think I want to go over it with a little bit of gold too. Just cuz. Cuz this pale gold is so pretty. And it's very bright. I find it easier to just do this kind of highlight stuff with my finger versus trying to use a brush. I have a little bit more control over where it goes. we go. Popped in my head today when I was hanging out here and I thought I'd give it a try. And I just had this idea to to kind of do one of these layering projects with one of these little frames. It's just very pretty. Okay guys that is everything for today and I hope I hope this inspired you and have a great day. Thank you.